I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. broccoli and cheese soup today to go along with our grilled cheese sandwiches so the first step is to make a roux on the stove so follow me to the stove we'll make the roux and then we'll assemble everything into the crock pot both our soups today are being cooked in the crock pot so we'll see you at the stove all right we're at the stove now and we're going to put our melted butter in and we'll stir it around a little bit um, and then we're going to put our flour in and I'm going to make a roux. Now this is a recipe that is inspired by Panera Bread's broccoli cheese soup. And the broccoli and the carrots actually came from our garden. So we're pretty proud of that. So farm to table. This is going to be a very thick roux. Mm -hmm. All this is going to do is help thicken the soup up. Yes. I can't wait. Because I love broccoli cheddar soup and I can't wait I to wanna try tell, this. I want to say this is probably Morris's favorite soup. He could eat it every week. Oh goodness. He loves broccoli and cheese. That's awesome. Well, we are doing cheddar from the little blocks of cheddar cheese that mom gave us for Christmas because she had a bunch of cheese sent in from Wisconsin that comes in it comes wrapped up in wax and uh, we're we're going to uh, go ahead and get that grated up here shortly because as soon as this is done about 30 minutes before because this is going to cook on high for three to four hours in our crock pot and then about 30 minutes out we're going to add in our half and half and our cheddar cheese yeah all right well what do you think sis i think it's about ready all right let's head back into the prep station and we'll see you there in a moment we're back at the island now and we're going to start assembling everything into our crock pot so i'm going to put the chicken broth in and then we'll put our roux in and we'll just whisk that around to incorporate it before we start adding in our veggies Okay. That way that hot broth from the chicken broth will marry all the ingredients together because the roux is very thick with the butter and the flour. flour. So Elsie's just busting up the big chunks because we don't want that to mix in with our cheese and our heavy right. cream and our half and half. So this is going to cook on high between three and four hours. If you wanted to do this on low, low and slow, you could do it for six to seven hours. But um, this here is um, pretty much about the same as the vegetable soup. So We're going to put something in here that you're going to be surprised about. Yeah. Nutmeg. Do you ever think that would go into a, a broccoli and cheese soup? So good. Okay, I think we're... Good enough. All right. So we're adding in our onions, our carrots, and those are from our garden. We had a lot of carrots. We had like two and a half, three pounds of carrots, and we've already used them in several dishes today. And our broccoli. And this came from our garden too. We just pulled our broccoli up today. And of course, our butter, our butter, melted butter. Are we putting salt and pepper in now or are we going to wait until... I would wait okay. just a little bit until it gets going a little. Nutmeg. Who would have thought? Okay, we're going to add our cheese and our half and half. And we'll stir this in and then put the lid back on. Ooh, that's going to be so good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. I wish we had smell of vision. All right, guys, we'll show you what it looks like when it's done.
Nancy. And I'm Debbie. And we're, we're Two Sisters Southern, Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.